fight in the game to see the boxing board. I'm gonna jump the line here, so you guys are gonna get pissed. Ken, what you think of that uh, Berto Mayweather fight? Yeah, I was sitting there, man. You know, it is what it is. Uh, if you expect anything more than that, you're never going to get anything more than that. It is what it is. You know, Floyd's going to do what Floyd does. Anybody that didn't know that Berto couldn't perform any higher than that before he got on that night, I'm surprised you guys didn't know that. He, he couldn't perform any, he, he, he couldn't do any more than he did, point blank himself. That's all he was going to be able to do. But, I mean, with this type of opponent, you didn't expect Floyd to get the knockout? Wasn't this the reason they picked Berto? No, I didn't expect him to get a knockout, not at all. He's knocking nobody out. You don't want to knock nobody out. You don't have a mentality to knock anybody out. You know what I mean? You don't have a mentality to want to hurt. You don't go in there with intentions to hurt anybody. You don't have that intent at all. You know what I mean? That's not his intent. Ken, do you do you think a big part of that though is is his body and he's concerned about damaging his body and putting himself in harm's way? Don't you think he's just, just gonna do you know, just what he has to do to win without putting himself in danger? Do you think he's thinking that way? He has a different mentality because he is older and because the body is breaking down. Do you think that plays a factor in all this? When he was 125 pounds, he wasn't trying to knock nobody out. When he was an amateur, he wasn't trying to knock nobody out. He's not that type of guy. I love Ken It doesn't matter if the body was good, the body's bad, he's having a good day, he's having a bad day, whatever. He does not want that kind of heat. He ain't going to put himself in that type of situation. You're not going to hit him in his mouth, and he's going to say, oh, shit, I'm about to kill you. He ain't going to never say that. It's not going to happen. Point blank is simple. So he okay. plays it safe, not just because he's playing it safe because of his body. He planned it to be safe because as he was growing up, he knew there was nothing there for him to, do, to hurt people that way. He never knew that. If he had a taste of that shit when he was young, hurting people like that, he still want to hurt somebody. But he never had that. He's never been that kind of guy. He's never had a taste of that. Berto had a taste of that. Berto know what it feel like to hurt people. He like to hurt you, but he don't have the ability to catch a guy like Mayweather. Yo, let me ask, Ken, let me ask you, because a lot of boxing fans, including myself, are kind of tired of the Floyd Mayweather era, especially after seeing this fight, because I felt like he could have done more. You, with someone that's kind of has a vested interest in that specific division with Sean, are you on the same field as us? I mean, obviously, you don't want to crack at Floyd Mayweather, but he kind of he holds that division hostage every time, even if he comes back. I mean, we, we talk shit and say that, you know, Floyd Mayweather, this, boring, this fight was boring, but if he realistically said, I have another fight left in me, we would kind of all be on the edge of our seats seeing who it's going to be. Are you almost tired and kind of old of the whole Floyd Mayweather hostage situation, knowing that every time out we're going to get we're going to get a fight like this? I mean, the number two pound for pound fighter, Manny Pacquiao, had the same almost performance, a slightly better performance because he won some rounds, but it wasn't too far off to say that these these performances were similar. Are you ready for this to be over with? I've been ready for it to be over with. It's not something I have an interest in at all. I never, I've never had an interest at all in fighting that guy. There's never, there's never been a conversation between me and his advisor about us fighting. <laughs> you know, um, after we beat Bronner, I said, "Hey, can we get that fight?" And he said, "You know, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, it is what it is. It's, you know, it's, it, you know, he, 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 he had a nice run. He did a lot of nice things. Um, none of it is spectacular to me at all. You know." Um, he ain't gonna never go out on his shield. He ain't gonna never, you know, um, do anything that anything more than he has to do to win. Point blank, you know. Uh, so yeah, him him moving on. Um, you know, hopefully he moves on and just lets it go. Uh, if he decides that uh, he wants to try to break some imaginary record, because it's my understanding he's nowhere near Chavez's record. Um, According to record books, it was Chavez won 85, 87 in a row. He's nowhere near that. So uh, if he wants to come back and beat 50 and, and, and win the 51st fight or something like that, I'm not going to even entertain it. It's not, you can't call, they can't call me and say, boys, think about fighting Sean. I don't want to hear that bullshit. That's not going to be something I will waste my time with. You know, there's enough time wasted in boxing as it is, you know. 
I'm wasting time right now trying to get a fight with Keith Thurman. I'm wasting time right now trying to get a fight with Danny Danny Garcia. These guys know exactly what's going on, and they have no interest in taking the fight. So, Ken, so, listen, uh, uh, we got a lot of callers, so I wanna I wanna leave you with this one. I wanna ask you rather. Um, do you feel? I mean, you li you're in that world, you know, like you said. His advisor is your advisor. You're in that world. Is he going to stay retired? Because if he stays retired, things get interesting in that division. No, Floyd's not going to stay retired. He got to pay taxes. So what do you make? $60 million last night, he owes $40 million. You think that guy really paying that $40 million right off the rip? No, he's not. So he's doing this shit in increments. So he's not going to stay retired. He's going to come back and fight again. That came from the top. I've heard that from the top. He's not going to stay retired, but I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not going to waste any time at all. Well, 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 well uh, when, you say, when you say you're not going to entertain it, you mean you're not going to entertain that he's thinking about fighting, but if they say Floyd wants to fight Sean, then it's a different story, right? No, 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 no. I'm not going to entertain him fighting Sean. I don't want to hear that bullshit. Don't call me with that bullshit. It's bullshit. See, you guys sit here and you get to talk about it, but I'm living it. So I'm telling you right now, I'm wasting time waiting on Danny Garcia. I'm wasting time waiting on Keith. Thurman. I damn sure ain't gonna waste that kind of time waiting on Floyd Mayweather. That's oh no. We be out of this, man. We're not gonna sit. My kid's not gonna be fighting when he's 35, 36 years old. That's not gonna happen. Well, all right, Ken. Let me get to some of these calls, man. You know it's a Mayweather night, so these phone lines are lit up. Thank you, uh, as always, man. We appreciate that you're always tuned in. Yeah, thank you for uh, having me on, guys. Take care. All right. Interesting.